Hello there, and welcome to the shop. And finally, I have my CNC rotor completed and fully running with Mac 3. And I just like to answer a couple of questions regarding what I said about the homing switches being connected in parallel and all connected into one terminal or one inlet. It is not necessary to have three individual inlets then into Mac 3. Mac 3 is just looking for an input signal. And if you notice, when you press ref all, the Z goes up and references, then the Y comes forward and references, and then the X, the last axis, references. So Mac 3 is just looking for a signal input and it is looking for it in that sequence. So it just presumes that the first signal that it sees is from the Z switch, and then the Y, and then the X. I'll demonstrate. Okay, so here we go, let's uh, ref all. Okay, so I'm just going to back those off a bit now. Just a bit. Now I'm going to take you to the diagnostic screen and I'll show you. If you just um, look at over here, now this is the home in switches are going to light up here. And uh, just to show you that uh, all three switches uh, in on one line so Mac 3 is going to uh, light up all three but it does distinguish between X Y and Z within the program in other words it separates them out so uh, here we go here's Z so I'm gonna do it on the diagnostic screen you see the three light up now why? And now X. So as you can see, Mac 3 is just looking for an input signal and it sorts itself out within the program because it it's sort of looking for a signal in sequence. So as it receives the first signal it just takes it that that's the Z, second signal, it'll take it that that's the Y, and the last third signal, it'll take it as X. So that's what you just saw was happening. So it's not necessary to have three individual inputs for your homing switches. And the same goes for uh, if you have limit switches. If you had another six limit switches on here, you know, um, if it came to the end of the, although I do run on soft limits all the time, uh, if it did happen to go over the soft limits, and uh, if I did have a a limit switch on any of the axes, as soon as Mac three sees a signal, it really doesn't matter to Mac three. What axis, it, what axis it's on, it'll stop the machine dead. Um, so that's the simple answer. And something else I'm really quite excited about actually. Now, one of my patrons sent me through a program, a 
I'm going to show you it now. It's Mac 3.5. I don't actually know where it came from, but here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Mac 3.5. So this is Mac 3.5, at least that's what I'm calling it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a lovely, well laid out, flat sort of... This has been put together by someone who really knows what they're doing. I, I don't know where it came from. But uh, this is what I'm going to be using from now on. Um, everything is, is on here. Uh, you don't have to mess around, you know, sort of, um, if you don't want to, you don't have to pull the, the, the pendant up. Although it does have a pendant, I'll just pull it up. Even the pendant looks nice. But what I like about it is all the information that you need is, is there. Uh, easy, on hand, it's a better screen to look at, it's not fussy and you know you, if you wanted to you could, um, if you notice over on this side you've got the, you know you can control it directly off the screen and I suppose if you had a touch screen, although in a workshop environment, touchscreen probably, I don't know, probably wouldn't go, especially if, uh, you know, you had a big blowfly land on the screen, you could make the blooming machine do anything. I don't know. I'd have to investigate that, but uh, it would make a very, very good touchscreen um, operation. It, I'm, I'm really in love with this. So, you know, you can jog it around. Let's, uh, Absolutely great, and um, of, of course, as always, uh, the um, information about this this screen and indeed the program download for it will be on my Patreon pages uh, because it came from one of my patrons. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so. From me, a Mac 3.5, I'm going to say bye for now. Oh, and don't forget, like and subscribe. And if you want to become a patron, patron information is down below this video in the video description area. So, um, not sure what the next uh, video is going to be. Uh, I'll have to have a look, see what I've got uh, got lined up so um, I mean I, I want to I want to do some cutting with my my new machine but um, I have other obligations as well so uh, thank you for joining me and Mac 3.5 and it's bye for now